Now for parts 2b of lab, we will consider the, the degree, the number of edges that touch each node. We can determine the degree in this case by looking at our very simple network, network 1, and we can count up the degree and we know what it should be for node 2 and node 3 and node 4 and node 5 and node 1. And again, we can do that by visual inspection in this case because the network is so simple. But instead, let's use our adjacency matrix. And we can use this adjacency matrix to construct the degree or to compute the degree for each node. And let's start by looking at road uh, number one. And one way we can do that is by looking at row one, all columns. And what we see when we look at row one, all columns, is that there are four ones. What do these ones correspond to? These correspond to the edges between node one and node two, node three, node four, and node five. And so therefore, in this case, we can calculate the number of edges that touch node one. We see if we sum up these ones, we get four. And that's consistent with our picture. We're here at node one has how many edges? One, two, three, four. So we can use the adjacency matrix, the same trick, I'll hit up arrow, and we can use uh, the adjacency matrix to figure out the degree of node number two. How many ones are there? There's only one in this case, this first value, which indicates an edge between node one and node two. And what we see in this case is that the degree of node two is one. And again, that's consistent with our picture. And we can repeat this procedure for all uh, nodes in this case, uh, and it's not so bad with five nodes. We can count all these up and do it by hand, but if we have 200 nodes, again, this procedure would become much too complicated or tiresome for us to do by hand. So what we can do instead is let's use MATLAB to compute the degree of each node, and the way we can do that is by issuing the following command. It's at line 136 of our code. We'll compute the degree, and we'll use this sum a comma two. So let's do that command, and now let's look at the values in degree. So if I type degree now at the command line, I see that there are five values. These correspond to four in the first entry, and then all ones. And the claim is that this corresponds to the degree of node one. Again, we saw it was four before, and then node one, uh, node two, three, four, and five all have a degree of one. And this matches exactly our expectation. If we look at the picture, we see that node one does have a degree of four. And so again, we can use this command sum a2. We're summing up in this case along columns. Uh, you might think about whether sum a comma one will, will work just as well, and if so, why? Uh, the answer is yes, it will work just as well. And you might think about why. What's the property of this network that allows that command degree? I can do it right here. Sum a1. So what is the degree now? exactly the same values, slightly different orientation, and you might think about how that command, degree sum a comma one, is different from degree a sum comma two, and why they give the same results. So something to think about there. And again, we're using the sum command to what we were, to, uh, it corresponds exactly to what we were doing by i, where we were summing up all of these values along rows or columns in our matrix, and we're using that to get the degree. One measure we talked about in class was the average degree, where we compute the degree for each node and then take the mean or average of them. And we can compute the average degree again by issuing a command in MATLAB. We'll take the degree we just computed and then compute its mean. And what do we find in this case? The average degree is 1.6. And this should match exactly what we found in class and also our intuition. Uh, we expect the degree to be something between one and four. And in this case, we get 1.6.